So we've got our limp chicken. It is time to scald this chicken to loosen its feathers. Because the scalding really is the linchpin upon which the efficiency of the day hangs, you want to get this perfect. Because the thing that's going to slow you down the most is uh, picking out little tiny feathers from over scalded birds or under scalded birds. And so I stir up the water first because all the hot water rises to the top. And I get a sounding of the temperature and we're right there, we're at 150, we're perfect. The burner's on low so it's going to maintain that temperature while I, I run through the birds. And today I'm just gonna do one at a time because I've got a one, I can only pluck one at a time. So I hold one leg bent, and this is a culinary step because I really want these right here. These are feet, chicken feet. They make the best stock in the cosmos, along with the chicken head. And so uh, one, way, the only way really, to make these suitable for stock is to scald them because the skin is going to peel off of them. And all the dirt and everything the chick chicken's been walking in its whole life. And uh, that means they must be scalded, they must actually get wet in the water. And if you hold the legs straight up like this, they will stick up straight up like this out of your scalding water and it's really annoying. So I have just developed a habit, I always hold them like this. Because I'm thinking about chicken stock, because that's what this is about. So, and I am going to time it, 150 degrees Fahrenheit for one minute, and about halfway through, I'm going to switch legs so that the other one now gets scalded, because each leg only needs about 30 seconds at 150 degrees to be peeled and then ready for the stock pot. Start my timer, and the chicken goes in, and uh, you got to plunge them in and out. And this is just to saturate the feathers, and just so that the current of the chicken moving through the water, the water naturally parts the feathers. Otherwise, they'll just kind of dry. So I'll even shake that leg in there. The feathers will stay dry and they'll hold off a lot of the water, at least in patches on the birds. So it's in and out, plunging in and out. Now you can see a lot of the feathers are saturated. They're already starting to come off pretty easy. So we could probably pluck this bird. I'm going to switch legs, put that other one down in there so that it peels like that. And if that leg isn't staying, even after my best efforts, I'll just hold it down. So that is about a minute. Whoops, right there. And now you could do this by hand. There's no time limit. You don't have to rush to the plucker. The feathers aren't going to re-adhere. Once they're loosened, they're loosened. And you could just do the whole bird this way by hand if you want. And you'll get a wonderful, clean bird. Beautiful. All right, I have to plug this thing in. My Pickwick Zuber brand does not have a switch. So I'm going to plug it in real quick. So you can imagine, you could really get into a rhythm here and do a lot of these real quick. Beautiful. So that's how the, the, the drum plucker works, this spinning plucker. If you get the ones that, uh, that are the barrel plucker where the base spins, you can just drop them in there. You don't have to hold on to them at all. And uh, the real efficiency with those, is, I find, is that there's no um, plucking after the fact. There's no hand plucking like I'm doing now. Just getting a few stragglers. 
Um, and that, you know, for, for any kind of volume, that's a significant advantage. So you can see here is a, here's a peeled foot. Nice and peeled, ready for the stock pot. So this, this is the scaly stuff that will come right off in a proper scald. Beautiful, no down, and this is characteristic of a laying hen. That's all fat right there. <laughs> Narrow breasts, because she puts all of her energy into egg production, not meat. So this is the advantage also of slaughtering the chickens the way that I do, retaining that strip of skin that though the head is completely severed from the, from, uh, at the spine, it's still attached by the skin, which means it still gets scalded, and I can then pluck it for the stock pot because chicken heads and chicken feet make the best stock you've ever had. You can even peel the comb, you can even peel the beak and get these nice and clean. A few little, you know, pin feathers up here. I don't, I don't care about those. Those are fine. I'll just leave those on. This is a tough old girl, so this is definitely for the low and slow braising preparation. Bacon, wine, stock, carrots, onions, and celery. Braise away. And when I do that, you know, I do, I like to, for old hens, I like to keep the head and the feet on in the braise because they'll just, they will make that uh, an amazing sauce. They will add so much gelatin, it'll just be unctuous delicious chicken liquor. Scalded, plucked. Ooh.
Beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. To dive deeper into more Meet Smith membership content, click up there. To support us on Patreon, look down there and click the link in the profile. To subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified of more videos. And then we've got some more right back there behind me. Thanks.